When I started blogging, I noticed there was no bloggers that looked like me. Whether they were South Asian, whether they were Arab, whether they were you know Turkish, Persian, whatever it was, there was nobody that I could kind of look to. And that's one of the reasons why I did start to blog. So it was like for that Mediterranean, Middle Eastern type of woman. I think our philosophy and our ethos completely revolves around making people feel better and feeling good and confident and that's where it all comes from. Beauty is about feeling good. Huda Beauty is a brand um, that really started as a source for everyone, what real women go through and to just kind of be honest about it. And it then eventually became a brand. We really are always thinking about us, ourselves, as consumers. We want to improve standards, we want to change the world, and we're not willing to give up on that. When we actually decided to create foundation, it was a long time ago at the time brands, you know, there were very few brands that actually had many shades. It was a very emotional process because it almost felt like, you know, if you were a certain shade, you weren't part of the conversation. And so, you know, we really strived to try to make as many tones as possible. The change is happening, the conversation is resonating with people, but it's a long-term mission. You know, I didn't really know that Dubai specifically was going to be such a, an important part of our business. When you see what Dubai has done in such mm -hmm. a short period of time, like even the time we've been here, it's just like mm -hmm. the entire city has transformed. Like Huda said, it like makes you think really limitlessly because you're mm -hmm. like, wow, if this whole city mm -hmm. has done so much in such a short He's period incredible. of time, what can we do? Our community really defines us. This Middle Eastern, Western kind of montage of, you know, I think so many people relate to. Whether you are from the Middle East or not, maybe you love Middle Eastern beauty. You know, with Middle Easterners in general, what we don't, we never, we're excessive. We're never <laughs> like, that's too much. We're but like, no, add a little fine. bit more. <laughs> The women here are amazing. Being a businesswoman in the Middle East and being a businesswoman in general, especially what was formerly a man's world, it was challenging, I think. In the very beginning, we were treated like this was a hobby and we didn't know what we were doing. And we knew, very, we actually knew what we were doing. Hopefully, you know, we will become the number one beauty brand in the world. That's really our goal. We want to own the beauty industry. <laughs>